Hello and welcome to the Fort Bend County Library's videos on how to use Libby by Overdrive app to access ebooks and audiobooks on your phone or tablet. In our last video, I had shown you how to download the app. Today, I'm going to show you how to borrow books or put books on holds. So there are several different ways that you can search for books. Uh, on the top left corner, there is a magnifying glass where you can search for a book by either just typing in um, title of the book, the author's name, or keyword search, or there's different ways that you can limit also by subject, the date it got added, format, which is basically books, audiobooks, or read-along books, um, languages, there's a couple of different language options that you can choose, English, Spanish, German, or French. A uh, different audience, uh, such as uh, juvenile kids, young adult, or general or mature content. Um, you can see what's compatible with Libby or Kindle if you have a Kindle, and you can search by availability, either available now or coming soon. So there's so many different options that you can do. There's also other options that you can do. If you scroll down, there's uh, what's new, bo new books that we have, new audiobooks that we have some popular some popular audiobooks uh what's available all the available books and audiobooks that we have or you can do some award-winning books like texas blue bonnet two by two reading list um just general fiction or non-fiction or juvenile fiction or some of the genres thriller mystery suspense or you can go, go search for all the um audiobooks that we have that's always available or you can do the Edgar Allan Best Novels, uh, the Best Books of 2017, or the recently added, the Harry Potter series that just got added, or Ready Romance, uh, if you like to, or Must Read Mysteries, um, or Page to Screen, some of the movies that have been into the books, or the books, then it became the movies. So you can do those. Um, you know, there's so many different ways that you can search for it. So those are some of the options that you have. But today, I'm just going to type in um, on the top of the screen. I'm just going to type in the author, James Patterson, so you can see. So once you type in James, you, you should be able to come in uh, with a list of all the names that corresponds with James. So I'm going to pick James Patterson. As you can see, there's uh, James Patterson has 182 books, 70, 177 in audiobooks. So, uh, you know, you can kind of limit your ways, but I'm just going to go down so you can see that the first book I have, it's, it's already checked out. I can't check it out. It's telling me to place holds. So same way with the second and the third uh, the, uh, already, um, well, that, um, the next one has, uh, borrowed. So I'm going to, uh, first to die. So I'm going to show you how to borrow. So I'm going to click on the tab that says borrow. So next it takes me to the, my library card information. So it's telling me that first to die, it's available to borrow for 14 days. There's my library card number. And on the bottom, it says Borrow. So I'm just going to tap on borrow. And once you tap on the borrow, it's going to basically kind of go through the process. It's going to download the books. And once it downloads, you'll be able to open it. So once it does downloading, I'll show you how to open the book. And that's it. Once that little um, check mark is there, I can open the book. I'll go back. I want to open it in Libby, not in Kindle. So I'm just going to click on Libby and there you go. I can start reading my books. So, and there's different other different stuff that you can do on the, so that's how you borrow books. Now I'm going to go back to, if you click on library, it's going to take me back to the library, the main screen. And I'm going to show you how to put a book on hold. So let's go back to James Patterson. So if you notice that since I had already searched for James Patterson, it's popping up James Patterson again. So I'm just going to click on that one and it's going to pop up all the James Patterson. So let's say I want to read uh, James Patterson. I want to read uh, the first one, which was the crisscross. 
So it's telling me it's not available, so I need to place it on hold. So I'm going to show you. Just click on place hold. It's going to again take me back to the library card information, and it's going to say place hold. So I'm going to tap on that. Once I tap on that, it's basically going to take me to the next screen. Um, so I have basically placed that book on hold. So I can go back to either read a sample of the book or uh, suspend hold if I want to cancel it. I can always cancel it by mistake. I made a wrong choice. I can always cancel that hold or keep browsing or go back to my shelf. If um, shelf is basically all the information about your account. So if I go back to the shelf, it's basically going to tell me the book that I already have checked out. So the first one that I showed you how to borrow was the first to die. So it's already there. And, and so let's say now that I have borrowed books, I have placed books on holds. Uh, and what if I'm done reading it? How do I return books? So the next one, it says open in Libby. On the bottom, it says manage loans. So if you tap on that, it's going to pop up a window and it's going to tell me about the book. When it's due back, it's going to tell me read with or return early. So I'm basically going to tap on return early because I finished that book in like three days. So I'm just going to return it so I can check out more. So it's going to take me back to the my library card information and on the bottom it says return so I'm just going to tap on return so it goes back to the libraries now I have no more fines or anything like that so if I go back to the shelf on the top it's going to basically ta take me back to my shelf and on the top it says loans so those are all the books that I have checked out I already have another one that I have checked out Texas Rangers which I'm reading right now I, if you like click on holds, this is the hold. So I have about six weeks uh, for the books to come in because there's so many people, I guess, reading crisscross right now. So, and if I do tags, basically tags is um, if you like the book, you didn't like the book, or you want to keep it for, uh, for next time kind of version. So if I go back to, so let's say um, I go back to the library and I can go back and search for more stuff. I can explore. I can, um, let's say I want to download an audiobook. So let's say I'm going to type in again James Patterson. Let's say I want to do James Patterson, but audiobooks. So on the right, it says refine. So I'm going to click on that one and format. I'm going to basically just click on audiobooks because I just want his audiobooks. So I can show you how to download audiobooks. So the first one pops up is cat and mouse. So I'm just going to borrow that one so I can show you. So same way how you did the ebooks, uh, borrow. I have 14 days to listen to this book. And once it basically goes through the process of it, I'll be able to use, um, it's going to download the audiobook for me. And then it's going to give me a check mark once it's downloaded. So it's taking a few minutes, a uh, few seconds for it to download. I guess my Wi-Fi is very slow right now. So, but here we go. It's going to take um, another few minutes, but it's very easy to operate. Um, if you have used Overdrive before, um, Libby is way simpler than uh, previous overdrive they have done a lot more to this app than um previously so again it's taking a few minutes i can open the audiobook i can keep browsing or go back to my shelf which is basically my account of all the stuff that i either have checked out or things that on hold for me so i'm just gonna wait for it to download so you guys can see what it's gonna look like so give it a minute, oh, one more minute. Sorry that it's taking so long to download. But you can see um, sometimes it might take a little bit longer if you are using if the Wi-Fi is very slow or your data, uh, you can download it using your data too. But I normally like to download it w when I have my Wi-Fi available. So sometimes right now, um, 
My Wi-Fi is being very slow. Sorry about that. So it looks like almost there. So once it downloads again, it'll give me that check mark. I can open the audio. Once I open, I'll be able to listen. So I can click on the play button. I can pause. There's a little bookmark on the top, so I can bookmark wherever I left off. I can uncheck it to bookmark. Um, I can go back and forth. Uh, let's say I want to read. Uh, maybe I missed it and I want to start reading M4. So she I desperately wanted to invade everybody's. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. Uh, on the right, there's three little bars. I can basically click on the uh, tab on that. I can go through the chapters. I Time Warner Audiobooks presents chapters. Cat and Mouse. Written by James Patterson. So this is the way that you can borrow books, uh, either uh, e-books or audiobooks, or you can put books on holds. Uh, if there's any other questions or anything like that, if you get stuck on it, if you click on where it says the, the little girl, um, it basically takes you the information. There's also help and support. Um, you can take uh, Learn Libby. If you click on that, it basically shows you some of the ways that you can borrow books and things like that. If you have any questions or anything like that, it basically goes through some of the stuff. Uh, you can go click back on it. Uh, there's uh, read books. Um, you can take survey, get some help if you click on that. Uh, that also provides you with some um, additional troubleshooting questions that you might have. Again, this is Fort Bend County Libraries videos on how to use Libby by Overdrive app to access ebooks and audiobooks on your phone and tablet. Thank you.